The House Select Committee investigating the January 6, 2020 attack, uh, 2020 attack on the Capitol recently received some testimony that Trump was uh, in support of the rioters who chanted about hanging his vice president. Because, of course, right? Uh, the account of Meadows' comment, uh, Mark Meadows, uh, characterizing Trump's reaction to his vice president was provided to the committee by at least one witness, according to the people familiar with the investigation. However, those people did not describe the tone in which the comment was made. They spoke on the condition of anonymity to be more candid about a sensitive topic. Yes, yeah, so, uh, quite, quite sensitive to be you know, openly talking about uh, and supporting uh, a crowd that is uh, threatening to hang your vice president. According to the Washington Post, Meadows was in and out of the dining room, the Oval Office, on the day of the attack, and in Trump's president, uh, presence sorry, as the riot unfolded, according to testimony provided to the committee by a former White House staffer who were in the West Wing that day. The Washington Post previously reported that Trump vented to those around him about Mike Pence as he watched on television as rioters besieged the Capitol. We know, of course, Trump really enjoyed watching uh, that entire thing unfold. At 2024, I'm sorry, at 2.24 p.m., minutes after the vice president and his family were endangered by pro-Trump mob and forced to flee the Senate chamber, Trump tweeted that Pence lacked, quote-unquote, courage. Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what uh, should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution. He said, giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts that the fraudulent or inaccurate ones they were asked to previously certify... He was a man's truth. Now, look, it's not surprising in the least to know that he has, of course, loved uh, that he loved the rioting. Now, of course, that covered up the real coup. Gave cover. Now, the real coup, of course, we know is the fake electors. And that was part of the Green Bay sweep. Now, the Green Bay sweep, of course, was to overwhelm the media with the reports of voter fraud doesn't exist, then use that confusion to allow the fake electors in many of these states. We know that this was uh, a real thing because they sent in paperwork to the National Archives, sometimes even using the official state seal on unofficial documents. It's forgery. These fake electors were going to replace the real electors who would then install Donald Trump back into power, no matter what the election actually uh, you know, uh, showed, no matter who won. Trump still says, no, I want to win. And so I'm just going to steal power. Understand that he nearly pulled off a fascist takeover of this country, a soft coup, and might have succeeded had he uh, had Mike Pence, ironically, of all people, had Mike Pence uh, not actually had a sliver of principle. A sliver. And since, of course, Mike Pence did not help him, he says, ah, you know, if the mob gets him, hmm? <laughs> sad day for you guys. Hey, don't care. This backs up other reports where he had told Kevin McCarthy about the mob when uh, they had their little screaming match. Quote, well, I guess they're more upset about the elections than you are. He wants the mob. He loved the mob. He continued tweeting about Pence during that riot. And then after being begged for hours to order these people to go home, he puts out this bizarre, and you, you know the message. We love you. You're very special. That, you know, fawning message. Look. Very clear that Donald Trump supported the riots. He supported the violence. He liked the violence. He liked them trying to take over the country in his name. And he liked what they were trying to do with the fake electors. And look, he egged the whole thing on for months and months, years. They egged this thing on. He said, oh, if I lose the election, it's going to be because it was stolen from me, planting that seed. 
Republicans said, oh, yeah, well, you know, we, we like to use voter fraud, uh, even though we don't know it doesn't exist. We still like to use voter fraud in order to do voter suppression so that we continue to win elections. See, that's how that's how Republicans normally play this game. See, Republicans aren't in favor of democracy either, but they, they won't go out of their way to be as brazen as Donald Trump. But they will chip away at democracy, and they have. Again, voter suppression, gerrymandering, you know, uh, of course, making sure that black people are, are felons so they lose their right to vote. All that stuff. They don't like democracy. But even they looked at what <clears throat> Donald Trump was doing, which is a full on soft coup and said, oh, that's too far. That's too far. That's too obvious. No, we, we want to chip away at it. Democracy, while well, nobody's looking. And Trump says, I don't have time for that. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna take over. I'm gonna try to take over. And he was very, very close to being successful. Too close. And we have done nothing about it. If he gets back into power, and I'm speaking about Trump, now that he knows who did not back him the first time, expect him to come for those people. Like Mike, for example. Yeah, he's going to come after Mike. He's going to come after other Republicans first. And the mainstream media will be like, oh, this is great. Yes, Republican and Republican violence. Oh, we love it. <laughs> Yay. But once he gets rid of the people in the Republican Party that didn't support him, who do you think is, do you think he's going to be done? No. No. Then he's going to come for everyone else. Once he has the Republican Party back in line. And he's pretty damn close to getting that too. The media, the Democrats, who are super weak, feckless, they're not going to be able to stop him. And he's going to take over those things too. And then it's going to take over our system of government until he has complete and total control. That was always the plan. That was always the plot.